Kirofano, my name is uh, Daryl. I'm recording this today to um, share the excitement of uh, knowledge that we know that we are going to be having a baby at the end of the year. Uh, we've gone through the tests to to basically prove and, and see that we're uh, pregnant. Um, my partner Bianca and I were pregnant last year and experienced the misfortune of a miscarriage with our pregnancy. We were very disappointed at the time obviously uh, with the miscarriage. Uh, we, for Bianca, uh, you know, obviously her body was going through a lot of changes and we just got our head around the fact that we were pregnant and going to be having a baby. Um, it's very hard from a male to understand what women go through um, when they're pregnant. When the unfortunate um, situation occurs with the miscarriage, from a male's perspective it's hard for us to deal with the whole goings on of, of miscarriage as we find ourselves in a, in a position where we can't actually do much about it. As, apart from trying to comfort our partner as much as possible. Uh, we were very disappointed, obviously. It took us a while to get pregnant. We really do want to have children. Um, so with all of that, that had happened last year, obviously it just wasn't time for us as a couple um, for that to happen. We um, both understand that the universe will make things happen as they as they need to need to happen so for us it was um, a very trying time in our relationship uh, in order to um, get us through that because it was quite a, a sorrowful um, scenario and sorrowful times however um, we did have our uh, respite in terms of where we how, how we grieved um, that whole scenario. Um, being from a Māori um, and English background, um, for, for me personally and I know with Bianca as well, um, we did need to have some form of ceremony to close that part of our life or accept the fact that that was how it was. Uh, we asked for the um, fetus and all the relating other parts and bits and pieces uh, from the womb at the time uh, from that particular um, birth to be returned to us so that we could have our own private ceremony. We buried the fetus uh, and planted a plant, a, a tree uh, f for that um, fetus, that baby, um, of which I do spend many time many times uh, watering and talking to that plant like it is still a, a part of me. I guess from a male perspective it's um, very difficult for us males to express exactly how we feel leading up to knowing that we're pregnant. Very exciting obviously um, to know you're going to be a dad. Um, but to have something like that also ripped away from you can be very heart-wrenching. I, f I felt um, I did go into a bit of a shell um, where I couldn't express the way I really did feel about it. Obviously, being the male of the relationship, you tend to put on a, a hard outer shell in order to be supportive of your partner because they are the ones who are actually going through the physical um, of, of the whole miscarriage and uh, males don't tend to have to endure the same sort of um, pains physically but emotionally knowing that they're actually the ones that are carrying the fetus and so we as males are basically an emotional rock in the whole scenario right up until birth because there's not a lot we can do apart from trying to comfort our partners as much as possible and create an environment where that baby has 
the best opportunity to grow uh, in the mum. So I guess this is really my first um, opportunity to express how and what I felt. Um, males tend to not say too much or, or, or show too much emotion about it all. But yeah, I guess we just grieve in our own way. Um, I was very hurt. I'd only just got, like, as I probably already have said, I, I'd only just got my head around the fact that, yep, we, we, in about you know eight months' time, we're going to have a baby. Um, and so excited, started to even contemplate, you know, getting bits and pieces, uh, progressively getting bits and pieces for this baby. Um, and then one night after midnight, um, Bianca started to have some complications um, while we're in bed. At the time, I was quite, you know, distraught because there's there was nothing I could do. So, um, yeah, we went to the hospital, spent a huge amount of time there, trying to sort it out, see whether there was anything that could be done to to, to save the situation. Um, but by that time, it was it was what it was. Um, yeah, we had our grieving ceremony um, once we had the fetus returned to us, and that sort of closed that chapter. Um, for us for me personally uh, it always feels like there is something that should have been there or could have been there um, I often think of of it as um, a, a maybe a missing link or um, uh, the, the wider of, 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 of what may have been um, still lingers around me as a uh, like a lost soul almost which is probably why I have you know I, I talk to this plant <laughs> as crazy as that sounds um, I would probably be very distraught if anything happened to the plant because I look at it as uh, the spirit of my child that never made it I guess you could say um, so yeah I, I think we all grieve in, in different ways uh, with with this, you know, it has helped us to uh, encapture what we think we need to do in order to um, to, to become pregnant again, and um, what we need to do to try and increase our chances of uh, getting through to have a baby. Um, so, in saying that, the good thing is, you know, after all the trying, we are pregnant again and we will be having a baby uh, in November around my birthday which is concerning for me because I would hate the thought of someone taking the gloss off my own birthday but it is what it is so yeah we're very excited about that uh, we uh, Bianca is very um, on the ball in terms of how her body operates and, and her cycle and, and whatnot so she knew quite quickly when she was likely to have her next cycle and within a, a day or two of, of that not happening um, she basically said hey I think we could be pregnant again so very excited but not counting my chickens I was um, sort of happy that we'd gone full circle and, and, and are now in a position where we might be having a baby um, she got in contact with the midwife that we had for the last pregnancy um, and yeah, basically we done all the checks, got the sticks, um, got it confirmed to us. But then again, I still wasn't a hundred percent on the sticks, as they're only ninety-five percent um, correct. So there's always a small chance that that's not the case. So although I was happy, I was also wary that it still may may not be the case. We went for a dating scan because of our miscarriage last year. We had to go in earlier than your scheduled first date uh, dating scan, and basically, I took some time off work, went to the dating scan of Bianca, and was very excited when I saw a little bean with a heartbeat flickering in the screen, uh, and that to me confirmed that yes, indeed, we were pregnant. We have got a little bean with a heartbeat, and um, yeah, 
it's been two two or three weeks since that dating scan now so uh, at the at the stage of the dating scan it was 12 millimeters um, and from that now I think it's about three centimeters so it grows quite quickly within the mum and um, yeah just really excited about the prospects of being um, a dad um, with I think you know uh, a future where I can really add to the life of of a baby so um, I love kids and um, will do anything for 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 them in order to give them the best life that I can possibly give them so very much exciting times for us all I know Bianca's doing some recordings of her progression through pregnancy and uh, we wish obviously that um, nothing uh, will happen this time that will basically rip that opportunity away from us again so we will go through this nine months doing everything that we possibly can to give birth to a nice healthy young baby boy or girl don't really have preferences uh, either way as long as, as it's healthy and um, yeah that will be us in nine months time or well, eight months now so very excited um, yeah I may do another post but hopefully a little bit of the insight of what had happened last year with our miscarriage um, just opens up people's eyes in terms of um, what does happen uh, I mean men do grieve differently um, so hopefully my perspective on how I sort of went through it and dealt with it may help other people who find themselves in similar situations so maybe I'll see you again thanks